Bless each and every one that have come in this place. Father, we thank you for your presence in this place. Spirit of the living God, take over, take charge. We thank you and we honor you for your presence in this place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us open our Bible in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 11, verses 15. Revelation chapter 11, verse number 15. Please can you read it? Mwengeli gwautano na uwali nage tafu darumbendo ruendi Makura meguru tamkara mazwi gomanene gana kutanda asi Uhompa uzuni ntantani unakaranye Wahompa gwetu na krisu sa gwendi Age nga pangera narunye na narunye. I want you to read it again 15 up to 18, uh, up to 17. I'll read it for the second time, verse 15. Veli sezo morongo nantano, muengeli kwa utano na wali na geta tafu durumbendo ruendi, makura meguru tamkara mazwigo manene gana kutanta asi, Uhompa uzuni, ntantani unakaranye, wahompa gwetu na krisu sa gwendi. Age nga pangera narunye na narunye. Ano masimbi no murongo mbali na gane, agaga hingili reko ipundi ya uhompa, yago kospara sa karunga, tagaligande repevu gatonga mene karunga. Tapa tanta asi, taga tanta asi, Tatu kupandura owe hompa karunga mnankondo na dinye, ogu ono karako nogu wakereko. Tatu kupandura, yei ono tameke kuruga nesa nankondo doge dono nene, iyo ono kupangira. Wapagani kwa handukire unene. Just up to verse 17. 15. The kingdoms of this world are becomes the kingdoms of our God. I want to repeat again. Verse 15. B. The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And the fourth and twenty elders which sat before God in their seats fell upon their faces and worship God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord, God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken thee thy great power and has reigned. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today I want to look at uh, the verse in verse number 15 that says the kingdoms of this world are becomes the kingdom of our God and of his Christ I want to repeat again the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ are you with me? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. There is where we are having problem. Are you with me? Yeah. At least I can hear you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. First, the kingdom of this world has been in the dominion of Satan. Are you with me? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. 
before the coming of Jesus Christ Jesus Jesus was in heaven the devil Satan Satan was the god of this war he's the god of this war he's the kingdom of this war those kingdom nobody could subdue it and Satan was dominating and with the coming of Jesus Christ with the fight which was between Christ and Satan when Christ died the Bible said the kingdoms of this world the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. I do not know which kingdom have been operating in your life. Which kingdoms have been operating in your village. I don't know which villa kingdom has been operating in your marriage. I do not know the kingdoms that have been dominating at your place of work. I do not know the kingdoms that have been dominating in your neighborhood. But one thing is for sure. Jesus Christ has become the Lord of all the kingdoms. He's the king of the kings. He's the Lord of the Lord. Whatever have been the kings in your life, in your body, in your family, Finances, in your future, in your marriage, in your finances, today is going to replace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Sit down. Let me put the foundation. Let me put the foundation. The Bible says the kingdoms of this world which was ruled by the devil in one way or another in your life in your generation in your forefather in your village in your country today our God has taken over together with his Christ to rule in your life in your life in your career in your home in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. There is the power of replacement. No matter what is in your body. No matter what is in your life. No matter what is in your career. In your home. In your life. The power of Christ is going to replace the power of darkness. It's going to replace the power of Satan. It's going to replace the dominion of Satan over your life. Over your life. Over your finances. Over your career. Over your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you in the church? I want you to pray with me. Preach with me. Please sit down. Sit down. I want you to pray. I preach with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I say rundu will never be the same again. Rundu will never be the same again. Every power of witchcraft militating in this city, I destroy it by the power of the blood of Jesus. I destroy it by the power of the fire of the Holy Spirit. I destroy it by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch Catch fire! Catch fire! Hallelujah! Listen to me. Every power that have been dominating in our city, the power of corruption is coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that have been dominated in Rundu, 
I disown it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please have your seat. Have your seat. Listen to me. Before the coming of Jesus Christ, witchcraft have been the order among the people. People want to hear from divination. They want to hear from people what are they to be told. God was not the center in their life. The power of darkness was all over. Today, in Rundu as we speak, the power of witchcraft, the power of witchcraft, witch doctors, those that are practicing those words, it will not work in Rundu in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Eleven years ago, I stood here and I said to you, just as you see, shops all over, so shall it be with the churches all over to proclaim the power and the victory of Jesus Christ. Today, anywhere where the power of witchcraft working in our city, in Sawiema, in Tutungeni, in a sun city, in Donkero, in Sawiema, in Nehemo, in a millennium park, wherever they are, I defend them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! There is the power of replacement from today as you go darkness shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ but the light of God will come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you will be ruled not by demons not by ghosts but you will be ruled by the power of Jesus Christ you will be ruled by the power of the Holy Spirit you are the body of the Holy Spirit you are the temple of the Holy Spirit may you receive the power of God receive it receive it receive it hallelujah your hand is a cup offering unto okay. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Amen! Black people, we are so agani. African, we are known we are so of practicing witchcraft. Hallelujah! Amen! In each and every one, as we are seated here, in one way or another, your family member, they do practice those things. But today, I cut you off from that kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut you off from that kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. I release the power of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! The power of Satan over your life is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It's broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It's broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! In the place of curses. I remove cases over your life. I say, I remove cases over your life. And I release the blessing of the Lord upon your life, upon your hand, upon your property, upon your property, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every case that has been pronounced over generations, it will not work in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! 
anything you touch it cannot go anywhere here Revelation chapter number 11 verse 15b the Bible said the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our God and his Christ something is going to be replaced in your life something is going to be replaced in your marriage something is going to be replaced in your career in your finances in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah matter what they have thrown to you today by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ by the power in the name of Jesus Christ I break every charm over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free I set you free I set you free I set you free receive your freedom receive it Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. He will let you go. He will let you go. As you have done with the children of Israel. Your time of your deliverance has come. Your time of your freedom has come. Your time of your blessing has come. Your time for you to shine has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. Anywhere where they are putting up a trip, a trap of witchcraft in your way, in your neighborhood, at your gate, I nullify it. I nullify it. I nullify it. I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. We have seen our suffering. And we have come to destroy the power of witchcraft. We have come to destroy it and replace it with the power of redemption in the name of Jesus Christ. Make the power of redemption work in your life. May the power of redemption defend you. May the power of redemption fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Where others have been rejected from today, as you are leaving this church service, you are going to be accepted in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to be accepted in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to be accepted in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you are going to receive proposal for your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Liar. Every yoke of the devil over your life, over your neck, I break it by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Sit down. Number three. Demon oppression. No, unclean spirit that is making you to have nightmare today they must let you go today they must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ this is the unclean spirit that causing you not to have a good sleep that is causing you to have pain in your body it is this unclean spirit that causing you to have a spiritual husband spiritual wife today I break their power over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free I set you free I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ 
in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse number 1 Jesus said he called the 12 unto himself and he gave them power against unclean spirits every unclean spirit in your life today they must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ whether they are coming from your neighbor whether they are coming from your forefather's side or your mother's mother, mother side today they must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah every power of witchcraft in the form of unclean spirits that brings you to have eating in the dream today I take you out from them in the name of Jesus Christ every cage where they have kept you that they may feed you today I destroy that cage by the power of the word of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. You are the son of the living God. Every kingdom that is not established by God with his Christ, today it is crumbling in the name of Jesus Christ. It is crumbling over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every power of sin that is holding you at one place. Today, I break that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I set you free. I set you free. I set you free to enter in holy living, to enter in the sanctification life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Satan is a liar. Every kingdom that God have not established today, it must come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. It must come in at, to, to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! At your place of work, you will glorify Jesus Christ. You will worship God in the beauty of His holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! God is on your side. If God be for you, who can be against you? With God, there shall be nothing impossible. You have become the possibility. You have become a possibility because the Bible says, to him or she who believes, everything is possible. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready to march over the power of darkness? Are you ready to show your victory over the darkness? Are you ready to show your power over unclean spirit? I can't see you. I can't see you. Hallelujah! Amen. I say hallelujah! As we are speaking today, the enemy, be it in your house, be it at your workplace, be it in your neighborhood, every spirit that is forcing, every spirit that is militating, every spirit that is magnetic to come against you, they are departing, they are losing their power, they are losing their power. I set you free, I set you free, I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive your freedom. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Shout him like a thunder. Listen to me. 
every power of sickness that is dominating your body that is making you to be ineffective that is making you not to become productive that is making that your effort can go nowhere today it must be replaced with the healing anointing of God in the name of Jesus Christ I break sickness over your life I break the power of sickness over your life and I set you free and I pronounce you healed you are healed you are healed you are healed by the stripe of Jesus Christ receive your healing receive it receive it receive it Hallelujah! Where are those believers? Those who is jumping and say, I receive it. I can't see you today. I can't see you today. I say, I can't see you today. Every power of sickness in your body. Every power of sickness in your body. I break it. I break it. I break it. Receive the anointing of healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Every kingdom that is not established by Jesus Christ, it must be dethroned in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ must come in your life, in your home, at your working place, in your business, in your career, in your finances. That he must reign as the King of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! There is no hiding for the devil in this place today. I said there is no hiding of the devil in this place today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Where it will have been death, nothing one can see that this is advancing. Everything have come stand still. Jesus Christ is going to replace with the everlasting life. He's going to replace with the power of the resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that you will touch from now on, it will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He did not come and to leave us as he has found us. Anybody who met Jesus Christ, his life, his story, his situation, changed. Every affliction, every oppression of the devil over your life, today mark the end in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Amen! I see you, you are free. I see, I see you, you are free. I can hear the voice, you are free. I can hear the voice, you are free. I can hear the voice of the Lord, you are free. Shout hallelujah. Shout, I receive it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a clap offering in the house. I say give him a beautiful clap offering as a, unto Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Amen. Today, Nina, sit down. Ingireni. Any stagnation in your life. Some can begin to work after five years they cannot show anything after ten years they cannot show anything they can begin anything but it will go nowhere that spirit of stagnation I break it in the name of Jesus Christ over your life I break it out from your family in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah Amen
I can hear breakthrough. I can hear breakthrough. Stand up and receive the breakthrough. Receive the breakthrough. Receive the breakthrough. Receive the breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stagnation is not your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please have your seat, please. Have your seat. Have your seat. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is the power of substitution. With the coming of Jesus Christ. Your body which was indeed the temple of the idols. When Christ comes, it becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are not an ordinary person anymore. You are the temple of the living God. You are the temple of the living God. You are the temple of the living God. The of the living God. Demon cannot play over your body. Body. You are the son of the living God. You are the daughter of the living God. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. Colossians chapter 2. Verse 15. Every yoke of the devil over your life <laughs> has been destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter number 2 verses 15. Please you can read it. You are not yet there. Okay, let us read it in English. Verse number 15, read as follow. And having spoiled the principality and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Every principality that have been dominating your life after this service, they will not play over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The fire of the Holy Spirit is going to over to, to, to overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ. And from today, your enemy will acknowledge that you are serving the living God. They are going to acknowledge that you are serving the living God. Every power of sin that have subjected you over many years, Jesus Christ today have destroyed it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Jesus Christ destroyed three powers or headquarter of the devil before he was resurrected. Number one, the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the power that Jesus Christ destroyed. No sin power was able to bring Jesus under subjection. And when Christ died, you died when he rose, he rose. There is no sin power that can dominate, dominate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, the power of death was destroyed by Jesus Christ. He destroyed the principality and powers. The power of death death, which was keeping many believers with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. All that power, the power of death, will not be able to hold Jesus in the grave. Anything that you have been doing that cannot bring results from today, receive the power of the resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that you have 
dying in your life. May it receive life. May your marriage receive life. May your finances receive life. May your career receive life. May your future receive life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three. So that Jesus Christ destroyed the power of sickness. He called the twelve unto him. And he gave them the power against unclean spirits. And he said, Go. Cast out demons. And heal the sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Any pain in your body that is stubborn today, that pain must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. It must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord has seen your suffering. He has seen your cry. And it has become a memorial unto him. That your healing may be manifested today in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four. The power of the key of hell. Jesus destroyed it. And he took it in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, number five. The power of grave. Jesus Christ destroyed it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is power of substitution or power of replacement. Any kingdom that God did not establish in your life, it must go in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it must go in the name of Jesus Christ. Rundu will be the center of redemption. It will be the headquarter of redemption in Namibia in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. I say you better clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 10. Reading from verse number 12 downwards. Let, let me just confirm quickly. Jesus said to his disciples. As you go, preach the kingdom of God. Heal the sick. Cast out demons. Cleanse the leper. Praise the dead. This is the command of our Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I say praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Starting from verse number 7, not 12, but 7. And as you go preaching, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out out devils freely you have received freely give zende ni muka udise asi untungi waka unga pepi unakara kaberue ni waweli muka pindure wafe muka kuhure wa naingondwe hena muka chide numpepo donondona maoko oko muna iguana None kaigawe ni maoko oko Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today, that word is going to become a reality in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That word is going to operate in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power of replacement. If salvation cannot lead to sanctification and then it cannot lead to regeneration then the death of Jesus Christ is meaningless but I can guarantee you the death of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ have brought victory over your life have brought power in your life in the name of Jesus Christ there is power of replacement anything that God did not plant in your life in your marriage in your body it must be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me now every head bow
Let us pray. Let us pray. Anywhere where you are, you might be in this place. But we have never made Jesus Christ as the Savior of your life. The Bible says, What will profit a man to gain the whole world? But on the last day, to lose your life. Jesus said, If you cannot acknowledge the Son of Man in this generation, He too will not acknowledge you in the presence of God and the Holy Angels. You know you are living a sinful life. Today you want to say I want Jesus in my life I want him to cleanse my life I want him to become the savior And the lord of my life You can lift up your hand Where you are And I will pray with you A prayer to accept Jesus Christ As your lord and your savior Lift up your right hand And I will pray pray with you today to accept Jesus Christ to make him your Lord and your Savior that he may become the master of your life in the name of Jesus Christ please put your hand on your heart put your right hand on your heart and pray after me the whole church please pray with them join them and pray together repeat after me Lord Jesus I believe today you came to die for my sins you were buried and on the third day, you rose from the dead. Today, I confess you, Jesus. Come in my heart. Come be my Lord and be my Savior. Save my soul today. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Spirit of the living God, Come in my heart and save me completely. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. amen. Shall we put our hands together and clap our hands and Listen to me. Every addiction of every kind any addiction of every kind that is dominating your life today I take the authority of the name of Jesus Christ I take the authority of the blood of Jesus Christ I take the authority of the fire of the Holy Spirit and I break it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah amen Anywhere where they have taken your name on the altar of the enemy, today, I remove your name from the altar in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove your name from the altar of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to me today. Jesus Christ himself said do not leave Jerusalem and remain in Jerusalem until you are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit until you are filled with the Holy Spirit then you will be my witness starting from Jerusalem in all Judea Samaria until to the end of the World. We cannot follow Jesus Christ effectively on our own without the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When the apostle in Jerusalem they heard that the Samaritans they have received the gospel of Jesus Christ. When Philip was preaching to them, they went to him, they went to them and they asked them which baptism did you receive 
They haven't yet received any baptism. When Apostle John and Peter were speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon each and every one of them. That changed the history of their life. You will never be effective believer in the hand of God until you are endured with the power from above. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That baptism of the Holy Spirit will keep you in the hand of the living God. Will teach you how to pray. Will teach you when to pray. Will teach you how to read the Bible. The Spirit of the living God. The Spirit of truth. He will teach you everything that concerns Jesus Christ. Maybe you are in this place. Today, you desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. You want the baptism of the Holy Spirit as the gift that God has given unto us. When they were asking Peter after healing the man who was healed at the gate of beautiful, Peter told them, this which you see today these people first, first in, the, in, the, in the Acts chapter 2 they are not drunk they are filled with the Spirit of the Holy Spirit this gift of the Holy Spirit is for you and your children and everybody will believe the gift of the Holy Spirit is needed today than ever before hallelujah Amen. Maybe you have not yet received Jesus as the gift of the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Today, you are saying, Pastor, I need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Please raise up your right hand. And I will pray with you today that you may receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Please listen. Lift up your hand, I can't see you. Everybody whose hand is up. I want you to stand on your two feet. Please, be like a soldier. Be like a soldier. Mr. Mio, can you please remove this thing? I will go up. So that I can minister from above. Sorry. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Everybody who send is up. You desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Please step forward, come here. I want to pray with you. In the next some few minutes, the gift of the Holy Spirit will be given unto you. There is only one beautiful person who can baptize people in the Holy Spirit. His name is Jesus Christ. Nobody can baptize people in the Holy Spirit. The only person who can baptize people in the Holy Spirit. His name is Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says if you ask God for the Holy Spirit, He will give you the Holy Spirit. If you human being who are full of evil, your child asks you for a bread, you cannot give him a stone. If your child asks you for a fish, 
you cannot give him a snake if you know how to give good gift to your children your earthly children how much more of your heavenly father that those who will ask him the gift of the Holy Spirit he will give them the gift of the Holy Spirit are you ready today to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit are you ready to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in your life in your life in the name of Jesus Christ may I ask the church to stand up anywhere where you are except those that cannot stand I want you to stand up stretch your hand towards them stretch your hand towards them listen to me very careful Jesus Christ Jesus is going to baptize you with the gift of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God will give you the language that you are going to speak it is not the language that you have known when you were young it is not the language that you have forgotten but it's going to give you a heavenly language that the devil will not be able to listen to what you are going to pray when you open up your mouth to pray in that language the Holy Spirit will understand what you are going to pray but your understanding will not understand or fatum what you are saying equally also Satan will not know what you are praying for equally also your neighbor will not know what you are praying you are going to be given a beautiful language from heaven and that is the gift that we have received the Holy Spirit the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit you will speak in other tongues in the name of Jesus Christ lift up your two hands unto God lift up your hand unto God I want you to speak after me Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe in my heart. Jesus Christ is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, come unto me and baptize me with the Holy Spirit. I want you to close your eyes. Ferreni. Say, so Lord Jesus, come in me, come upon me, and baptize me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. I now believe in my heart, and I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Open up your mouth. Breathe in. Take in the breath. Breathe out. Include you if you are there. Breathe in. Take in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. The stream of the living water will come out of your belly right now. Pray in that language. Open up your mouth and begin to speak. Mango Sontori Mamba Bazekerian. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Everybody there, pray with them. Mango Sontori Mamba Zekerian. Open up your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. That is the language. Yes, that is the language. Open up your mouth and pray. Pray. Yeah. That is the language. That is the language. Please, can you hold this person? Pray, 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 pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray, 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 pray. That is the language. Everybody in the crowd, let us pray in the spirit. Let us pray in the spirit. Lift up your voice and pray in the beautiful language. Heavenly language. Let us pray. Pray, 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 pray in that language. 
pray in that language pray in that language pray in that language pray in that language you have received the gift of the holy spirit go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray can you hold that woman please can you hold that woman yes pray 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 can you pray there where you are lift up your beautiful voice unto the living God lift up your beautiful voice unto God let the spirit of pray through you allow him to pray through you yes 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 go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. 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 Touch me now. Touch me now. And make my life whole again. Whole again. Spirit Pray, 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 pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Clap your hand. Just an appreciation to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Can we go to our seat now? Everybody sit down for a moment.